Hey friends, it's Deanna here today. And today we are sewing up the book club top. Um, it's a really cool one. It's got like this chevron uh, pattern um, color block area. Um, it's really actually easy to make. I know that sometimes we get a little bit nervous about color blocking, but it really is nothing to be worried about. So we're gonna make it together today and I am excited. Um, I already did um, some part of it on um beforehand for sake of time but you will i'm gonna show you exactly how to do everything and then you'll do it on the i did one sleeve already and i did my back so i'm gonna do the front and the other sleeve and then you'll just repeat it on the other sleeve and on the back and then we put it together and all that so before we get started though let me remind you about our fun fan giveaway a 50 dollars elliot and Mike certificate and all you have to do is subscribe to our channel if you haven't and comment below and that's how you will be entered for a giveaway. So let's go ahead and get started. I already cut out my pattern pieces and I cut out my fabric. Once again, this is the book club top, okay? So um, I'm using, I'm using all kinds of different fabric today. I'm using this cotton lycra. I'm using this, um, I think this is a, 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 oh, I'm drawing a blank on the name. This is a, um, I'm thinking scuba, but it's not scuba. It is, um, it's not really Ponte. Maybe it is Ponte. Uh, it's just a thicker, a little bit thicker, but it still has really great stretch. It's not thick. It's drapey, but it's, it's a little bit more structured. And then I'm using double brush poly for the bottom. So, um, yeah. I think it's gonna work out fine. I Sometimes I like to go ahead and combine materials, uh, different uh, different fabrics and stuff like that, and we'll see how it turns out. So, so anyway, we're gonna grab our uh, top. This is my front of my top. As you can see, here's my neckline. Here's my neckline, here's my V shape. And I'm gonna put it face up, right side up. So here's my right side of my of the V of my top right side up, okay? And I'm gonna grab my middle piece, this is my middle piece right here, and I'm gonna put it right side down, right on top of it. Okay, and I'll make sure that you're doing, this is the top up here, which is the smaller section, that's gonna go right at the top. And I'm gonna pin, I'm gonna go up to that um, V point right there, and I'm going to pin them together, right sides together, and then I'm going to go down the V point all the way to the edge. Now, you know, I was a little bit scared working with this because it is a V, but what I will say is this, if you are going to, if you want it to fit like a really true, really, really tight V, um, then I would probably use my sewing machine um, and kind of sew this up together here first. Um, so that corner, like um, maybe a quarter of an inch in, in go down to one side to the point and then go up, not all the way to the point, but like a quarter of an inch kind of surround it. And then I would clip that little edge right there if you wanna do that to give it more of a defined V. I just, I'm just gonna go straight down and straight up with my serger. Um, and I think, and let me show you my one I did already. It gives it, it's still a pretty good V. I mean, I don't, I, I it's not like, a, point point you know but it's still really it's good enough for me i don't i don't think it needs to be very sharp but if you want it to be very sharp then i would do with my sewing machine and i would go down quarter of an inch in um quarter of an inch seam allowance and then clip that little corner right here at the top the little middle so that way um it's nice and even so when you're when you're sewing it together but um what i'm gonna do with my serger i'm gonna show you just how easy I do it on my serger. We go up, make sure your um, two fabrics are right sides together. And I go all the way up to almost to when I get to the end of the V. Then I lift up my uh, petal 
and then I kind of, I go ahead and turn it. And make sure I even them out. And go. Okay, and there it is. So now we open it and we steam it down. And we've done our first shape, our first color block. You see that? Pretty easy. Now I'm gonna put it face up again, and I'm gonna grab my second, my bottom, bottom of my bodice, it's gonna be my bottom, and I'm gonna put it right on top of it, right sides together. Same exact thing I just did with the middle. And honestly, this is the same thing we're gonna do with our sleeve. So I put it together. You know, um, it's been kind of chilly here. And so I put on this um, High Hopes Dolman. And then I opened the windows because I'm like, oh, it's super beautiful outside. And now I'm like, it's getting hot. And I told you before, I don't know if you've seen a lot of my other videos, my this room gets really, really warm. So I might have to pause it for a minute and go close some windows before I die in here. And you know, it wasn't even that warm. And then I started sewing and steaming with my iron. And now I'm like, oh, maybe it is a little toasty. It's a little toasty. I mean, it's winter time. Why is it so warm? Just fine. I love the warm weather. I'd rather it be warm than freezing cold. So I shouldn't be complaining. I'm not complaining. I just need to dress for the correct temperature. Okay, so now that I pinned it just the same way up and then down, I'm gonna do the same exact thing. We're going down to that V. I know I don't pin very much. I don't know why. There is There are certain fabrics though that I will tell you I will pin a lot. Um, like, uh rayon spandex because it's really really slippery okay i'm almost to that v i got to like the edge of that v make sure your knife doesn't cut the edge of it you want to be pulling that aside so like when you're going down the v go down pull this other side that turns this way pull it kind of this way so that it kind of dead ends a little bit right there okay so now i picked up my knife i picked up my foot excuse me and I'm turning, make sure my fabric is even. And then I'm gonna pull it down and go. Again, if you wanna be more precise with, your, with those Vs, sew a machine, and go all the way down there at the V, make the V first. But other than that, see, steam it down. And our front is done. Ooh, this is gonna be beautiful. I'm already loving it and I'm not even done. Okay, so here's my front and you're gonna do the exact same thing for the back. And now we're gonna do it for the sleeves, same thing. You're gonna grab your top of your sleeve, and this is the right side up, right side up. Here's my sleeve, my V. I'm gonna grab my middle piece. I'm gonna match it together. Now, if you don't know which one's the top or the bottom, don't worry, because it won't fit. The other side won't fit. See, it's too long. So the side that fits is the right side. I know, because sometimes color blocking can be confusing, but honestly, this is one of the easiest color blocked tops. I'm like, oh, this is not even, it's like a puzzle. I love puzzles. Do you love puzzles? I do, I love them. I need though a place to put them. I hate when you start a puzzle and you, don't, and you can't finish it and then you have to pack it up. Like then, then I don't wanna start it again because I'm like, 
How do I know I have all the pieces still? Okay, let me go ahead and sew this up. Just doing the same exact thing, going all the way down to that V and then turning and coming over. Ooh, don't forget to put that foot down. Pins off, steam. Okay, turn it again. Next V, the bottom of the sleeve, right sides together. Easier than you thought, huh? You should never be afraid of a pattern just because you think it's going to be complicated because it looks really involved. I come to found out, find out, found out. I've come to found out. I've come to find out that sometimes it's just a, you know, puzzle. It's just about following those steps. Um and practicing. The more you do it, the easier it gets. And don't get overwhelmed by it. Don't let sewing get overwhelming. Sewing is fun. All right. We're almost done putting this together. And you'll be like, what? What in the what, what? And I'll be like, I told you, not too hard. Honestly, every time I start a new pattern and I look at it, I'll tell you, I do get a little intimidated. And I say, can I do this? Can I really do this? I don't know, you know? Guess what? If I can do it, you can do it my sleeve is done so now i've got my both of my sleeves because like i said i already did my sleeves and my back and my front okay so now i'm gonna go ahead and assemble our shirt or top i'm gonna grab my back put it face up on my board i'm gonna grab my front put it right on top of it right sides together at the shoulders and we're gonna sew these shoulders together I'm sorry, I was sick last week and um, I am done with being sick, but the doctor said I will have a cough um, and sort of congestion for about like a week or two, up to a week or two after I was already done. So ugh. it's not too bad. And I'm grateful because I am alive and I am healthy and I am having so much fun sewing. Because honestly, when I was sick, I did not even want to touch my sewing machine. That is how bad it was. Can you imagine that? Like me not wanting to sew? That was, it was, it was horrendous. I can't even. I didn't even see an end in sight. There was no hope for me. Or so I thought. And now I am better. You know, and that is such a, like, good lesson for me. Because whenever I'm going through a hard time, I know this is sewing, but whenever I'm going through a hard time, for some reason, things really overwhelm me. And I get in my mind a lot. And I think, am I ever going to get out of this? Am I ever going to be better? Am I ever going to move on from this? And sometimes your brain tricks you into believing that it's not. Like you're gonna be stuck in this limbo of of misery forever and it's not true you know just get, take it one day at a time and then um before you know it you will be back to your happy normal self and um and, and get back into it 
um, with sewing is sometimes we get in that sewing funk and we're like, we just can't do it. I just don't want to sew. I don't want to see anything. I don't want to take your time. Just step out a little bit. Just forget about it. Don't look at your sewing room for a little bit. I didn't look at it. Um, and then little by little, come back and touch your fabrics, get your patterns, and that joy will come back. Um, and that's why I have to remind myself all the time. And here I am, I'm back, so I'm so excited. Thank you all. I love uh, uh, sewing with you all so much. You all give me life. Okay, so shoulders are sewn on, as you can see, and I already gave you my talk for today. <laughs> Ah, I'm just happy to be feeling better. Oh, so happy. And my husband is too. He was so funny last night. He came into my room and I was cutting up my pattern. And he goes, oh, wow, you're working. You know, he he was, you know, kind of happy to see me up and about because I'm sure I've been a, you know, a little lump on the log for, for this whole week. I just, you know, anyway. So. I'm folding my sleeve in half and I'm finding my top, tippity top, top, top of my sleeve because that's going to be, and I usually notch it, just clip a little bit off or just mark it however you want to. That's going to be where we're going to put that sleeve, that right there, right on the shoulder seam that we just created. Right on that shoulder seam. And then we're going to go down and we're going to meet these lines by lines i mean my uh seams and it's gonna end right here at the little piece right here at the end so you're not gonna sew this yet over here on the side yet we'll sew that later so don't sew down that that way just stop at the end of the sleeve um arm side right here see how it goes edge right there so you are going to have to pull it just a tiny bit, uh, stretch it just a tiny bit so it fits. Just make sure that seam right there is even. Even Steven. All right, and now we're gonna go ahead and sew it on. And we're gonna do the same for both sleeves. We're gonna sew both sleeves on just like this. Right sides together, making sure those seams are together. As you're sewing making sure they're even and when you get to this seam right here make sure they're even seams okay and then now even it out to the shoulder cap to the top of the shoulder even them out the two fabrics together and go make sure when you get to those seams right there you pay really good attention that they're even not the best I'm really not that great. I'm keeping those seams even. I try, but I'm not the greatest. See, I'm off by just a little hair. Oh, look, this one actually went pretty well. Wow. It's probably my best seam I've ever done. Okay, sleeves are on. Woo, this is gonna be beautiful. All right, so now we're gonna sew those sides together. And what we're going to do is we're going to open it up and we're going to put it right sides together now. Okay. So we're going to sew that side. All these seams are going to be matching. Sorry, I'm just trimming some of this stuff. And so we're going to match these seams right here, the armpit. And then we're going to go down the side. And you know what? I didn't even think about uh, uh, stripe matching. I didn't even didn't even cross my mind to stripe match. That's how bad I am. Oh well. Oh well. And then we're gonna go down the sleeve. And we're gonna do the same thing for both sides. All 
That's one side. I'm going to do the same thing for the other side. Do you hear her puppy? It's the cutest little thing. Cutest little thing. My son had been asking forever for a pop. And my husband, he was a big, no, we, we uh, move around a lot and we go visit family a lot and stuff like that. And whenever we've had a dog before, well, we've only had one dog before and um, he passed away a few years ago. But anyway, um, a dog becomes a member of our family you know we love our pets we don't just it's not a willy-nilly decision um so we always want to make sure that you know wherever we're going we can take them with us we have somebody to take care of them you know and stuff like that so it's a something that we think about a lot before we do but he decided that it was time well we decided it was time and so my son is so excited um, that we have that puppy but anyway all right we're gonna sew up, sew up these sides and just in time for the um for the um um the doggy sweater um i'm so excited about that i actually have it set up over here to sew um let me see where are you yeah it's on my it's on my li my list of things to sew right there sitting. Last week I didn't feel well and I wanted to sew it up so bad and I just I just couldn't. All right, I'll sew these guys up. All right, our top is put together. Look at how cute this is. How beautiful is this top? I am loving it. Love it, love it, love it. And now we're gonna do our neckband and we just need to neckband and hem. And that's it, we're done. Easy peasy. All right, I've got my neckband. I'm going to fold it wrong sides together. And then my iron turned off. To give it a memory crease before I sew that band and a circle. All right, now I have a memory crease down the middle. Fold it right sides together now and sew the raw edges together. The short raw edges. Right sides together. Okay. Here we are. Now we're gonna go ahead and lay it out and steam it again. Add those same uh, wrong sides together, those same, the seam we already made, the, the memory crease. Just make sure that the memory crease is really good and done. Okay, so we're gonna pin that uh, seam in the back right here. We're gonna fold it and go towards the front and mark the pin, the, the, the front, the front. And again, I just do a little snippity snip and mark it with a clip. Then I'm gonna match the front and the back and go to the sides. One, two, those are my quarters. Hi, Bob. Okay, so my band is quartered. I'm gonna grab my, um, uh, top. I'm going to match the shoulder seams together and go to the back. That's going to be my back. Mark it. And then I'm going to go towards the front. And that's going to be my front. Then I'm going to match my front and back because my shoulders are not my middle seam. Match my front and my back and go to the sides. One side. front and back and go to the other side. Okay. 
And now we're gonna grab our band and match up all those quarter points, right sides together. So where's that seam in the back? I'm gonna put that in the back, the back uh, piece I marked. And then I'm gonna go around my quarter and then my front. And then my other quarter. And now I'm going to go ahead and sew. So see how it's all raw edges, right sides together. And I'm going to sew. And how I sew my neck band is I always place my band face up. My band is always looking up. and fit it in and then I stitch a little bit and then I grab my band at the next quarter point and I make sure it's even and guide it with this hand hold it with this other my other hand with my fingers and then I stop at my quarter point and do it all over again You hear Bo? He's saying hi. And then my next one. Almost done. And then our last one. See, I was distracted and I for, and I didn't make sure that my, my fabric was matching up. So I'm going to go back again and make sure that my fabric is matching up over that gap that I left. So just pull it tight. Make sure your fabric is matching. You don't want to eat up uh, your band. So you got to make sure that it's true. go much better and now we're gonna go ahead and steam and our top is done all we have to do now is hem our bottom and our sleeves and we hem at half an inch. So you fold half an inch up all the way around and hem with your preferred stretch, 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 stretch stitch, or if you have a cover stitch or however you want to do it. And that is it. That is the end of our sewing tutorial. I hope you enjoyed this sewing tutorial. I hope you love this pattern as much as I do. Um, I hope you'll be making a whole lot more um, and enjoy it. Please let me know if you have any questions about anything that I did um, that you were a little bit, you know, not quite sure about. Um, if you're not part of our Instagram or Facebook page, come join us. We'd love to have you so you can see what we're making and we can see what you're making. We want you to share your makes with us so we can see it and rejoice with you as you're uh, making all these cute uh, things. Um, also, if you're not subscribed, subscribe, go subscribe right now so that you never miss any of our sewing tutorials um, that are coming to our channel on a weekly basis. I hope you have a good rest of your day. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I'll see you all next time. Bye!